Hi, in this tutorial we are going to see how to customize and modify the theme layer of Ionic application. It is easy to customize and modify the theme layer of Ionic application while we still follow the standards of each platform. Theming Ionic apps are easier than ever. Ionic is built on top of SAS which allows us to set some default styles for our app and it is to change the default SAS styles in INE. SAS is nothing but a CSS preprocessor which is a scripting language that extends CSS by allowing developers to write code in one language and then compile it into CSS. Some examples of CSS preprocessor includes SAS, LESS, etc. SAS is an extension of CSS. It allows us to create variables, nested rules, inline imports, and more. We can keep things organized and it is faster to create style sheets. I have a fresh Ionic instance running with a side menu template. This is the default directory. You can find a theme folder inside your source directory and it has a variable.sas file this is the color variable which has some predefined default colors I am going to change the primary color on saving this the application is building yeah, the color has been changed. Ionic uses the primary color by default for buttons and other components. We can add custom colors to the colors variable. I am going to create a error color as red and I am going to use this in page1.html I am going to create a button using the class equal to color equal to the name error and naming it as error. it's building yeah I has the button with my custom color You can see when I change this error into black, have a look at the text color of the report error is white. I am going to save this. Yeah, it still remains white since the background color is darker. I am going to make this color as lighter, I'm going to keep it as white. I need to recognize the background color shades as well based on that the text color will get changed here now it has been changed to black you can customize this with a base and contrast property I am going to create a another one with message and here I am going to define base and contrast property I am going to keep base as some yeah. 
the same red and going to create contrast as black yeah base is nothing but the background color for elements and contrast is for the text color for i have saved this for any components you can make use of the color function where i am going to open the sas file of the page one dot ht page one for the paragraph tag i am going to define the background color using the color function we need to define the property as colors variable and then the property message followed by the base I am going to save this as well for this paragraph tag I have used the customized color using the color function can go and view it it has been applied here hope this is useful to you please subscribe if there is any need or clarification get back to me or you can comment below thanks